Shaz and I needed to get away, so we packed up our vans and headed off on a fun-filled weekend. And boy, did we need it. So the day hasn't started out real well. Uh, I was supposed to have already been at the beach surfing. So um, instead I slept in and we're now heading to the beach. The likelihood of getting a wave is very slim. So the plan now is just to get to the beach. Um, if there is a wave, have a surf and um, then just unwind find a place around the beach somewhere I'll probably go down south and have a nice little sleep overnight and hopefully get up early enough for a surf that's the plan so uh, so far it hasn't worked oh bro chachos this is what happens when you wake up late you uh, miss out on all the good surf so it's kind of cross shore now uh, but you know, I wasn't going to go out, but Shaz says, go on, get out there, have some fun. So, I'm going to. Shazza was right, go out and have a bit of fun, you know it doesn't always have to be pumping. These guys cheat. They got motors on the board and they sort of get out the back in no time. I'm having a bit of a problem with the drone. It's saying that the gimbal motor is overloaded. I can't see anything, but I'm going to take the lens off it and just clean a little bit of grit out.
we thought about staying at Red Head Beach, but um, we're not going to. And then we we're uh, going to stay at Blacksmith's Beach, but we've decided not to again. So we're going to a, um, a place called Catherine Hill Bay, and there's a nice lookout there. So we're thinking about going to Catherine Hill Bay, going to the lookout, and from there, who knows, hopefully crash somewhere near the beach. There's tonight's camping spot, bro, Charchos. Not a bad spot at all. So um, this is Catherine Hill Bay, and um, there's a lot of signs around saying that you can't camp, but um, this location, no problems. So Shaz and I are gonna kick back tonight, and um, yeah unwind here with the uh, ocean sound all night long i hope well, the ocean's going nowhere <laughs> but there she is there's the ocean there's the bed i don't think it gets any better than this bro charchos i really don't i think um i think shaz is a bit jealous but Jazz? Yeah. Are you a little jelly? No. You sure? I think deep down she is. I could um, hear that ocean all night long. It, um, it's surprising how loud it is when, um, when you're right on it when you're sleeping right next to it but um it was quite nice so this uh mozzie net it's an absolute game changer because it allows you to sleep with uh with this back of the van fully open and not have to worry about bugs so it's um it's pretty amazing shazza she might be a little grumpy morning You sleep all right? Big Daz is in the house. You've got to have separate bedrooms, have you? Oh, I love your shirt. Hello, Big Daz. Hello, Daz. How are you? <laughs> G'day. How have you been? Yeah, good. You're good. Separate bedrooms, oh, mate, yeah, look mate, at that. Yeah, mate, it's almost too much. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's the day, right? Ah, uh, cool. Want to tough it off? <laughs> well, it looks as though we uh, have to move because there's a... Um, a board riding competition here today so we probably wouldn't have surfed here anyway so um, we're moving on um, there's quite a few people here 
So Big Daz, um, he's headed uh, to another car park for a little look to see what the surf's like there. And um, yeah, looks like we're on the hunt. Big Daz. No good just there, it's pretty flat, half a foot. <laughs> half a, so it's even smaller it's than down there. A couple of male riders, yeah, a couple of males out there and they're struggling. Mm, okay. So I can plan B. We're on the hunt. It's not looking good. Huh? I reckon it might be one up there. Okay. <coughs> oh, bro, Charge has. It's not even a foot. Our last hope is this next beach. If there's no wave there, then we have a coffee. So we found this little piece of paradise and um, yeah, it's lovely. So the ocean's just out there. Oh, and um, a couple of mementos from the dogs. But um, yeah, she's a absolute stunning spot here. I think I'm going to get the drone up and have a look at um, a few little um, rocky outcrops and uh, see if there's a few whales. So now around this area is a shit ton of sharks.
body borders go out too. Yeah. Having a fan on and having that on, and those two all night, it barely touches it. Mm. So I should. Yeah. Oh, it's only the fridge. The, the fridge is the only thing where I'm having an issue. Bro, Chachos. So, when we bought Shaz's van, what did, about, was it 28? 28 grand? Yeah. Okay. So, we paid 28 grand for Shaz's van. Um, it had about 90,000 Ks on it. Ford Transit, 87, excuse me, <laughs> and we did what you would probably call a pretty good fit out, not not a cheap fit out, um, so I'd say conservatively 20, 20 grand at least, fit out? Maybe, maybe 25. Yeah, probably bordering on. I don't think it'd be yeah. too, no, well, too much higher. Okay, let's let's say twenty five and twenty eight. Okay. So I that's don't think it's been 25, but. yeah. So under fifty five grand, <coughs> you get you can build something like this. Uh, the alternative is um, you buy something like that. So that's um, that cost me fifteen grand, and that was. Um, already done finished um, so Shaz's van is a 2012 model Ford Transit high roof um, whereas that that's a 2000 model high ace um, and that was decked out as a camper van back in 2000 ish um, that's got 240,000 K's on it so and that cost me 15 grand so it's not that hard to get into van life if you really want to uh, if you do it the way we did with Shazza's it can be fairly expensive but you can go out and buy something like that for under 20 grand and you can pretty well live in it as we were driving around to our next destination we were cruising through Lake Macquarie and we heard the thundering sound of power boats and we realised Fast and Loud was on and let me tell you, these boats are both fast and loud We got a little peckish when we were at the coast, so we decided to travel two hours for a pizza. Well, these pizzas were made by a good friend of ours called Luigi. Quite a bit on it. Well, after smashing a couple of beautiful pizzas, we're on the road again. We're heading to McNamara Park, a beautiful free camping spot deep, deep in the country at a place called Broke.
here we are bro Charchas, McNamara Park. I'll tell you what, there's some rigs around here. Check this thing out. This is a very popular free camping spot. So if you're ever in the Hunter Valley or the Broke region, this is um, it's a pretty cool place. Wind down the window. So I've got to put, um, I've got to put me winder on. I've got to put this on to wind the window down. Yeah, I like this spot. Yeah. But are you happy here? Like, we're kind of like not near trees. And if that drops anything, it's just a little branch. No, it's good. Huh? This is, this is good. This looks to be a bit of a four-wheel drive track back there well, campers over there yeah, this is nice yeah so basically you just pull up here and you stop wherever you like well she's um she's raining at the moment bro chachos just like it was last night just a light rain i can see it's kind of clearing up out there anyway Anyway, it's about 7 o'clock and um, I find when I camp, I go to bed early. Once the sun goes down, I go to sleep. And uh, tonight's no different. Anyway, bro, chachas, I'll catch you in the morning. Adios. Sleep all right? Check Shaz out, she sleeps on an angle. There's the head, there's the feet. She made the bed too short. That's the part of the van she built. Yes. <laughs> Come on, sleepy head. I'm not sleeping, I'm it's relaxing. Baking there. and eggs. <laughs> it's a roundabout. Oh, probably at least 7.30 and um, there's no one up except me there's not a soul out of their van strange not used to this camping bro chachas I thought you'd get up early and everyone's up making a pot of tea and having a bacon and eggs or something but Anyone's up and me and those two dogs that barked all night. <laughs> up, look at this. So I, I said to Shaz last night, I said, um, oh, the dogs were barking all night long. And, and she said, oh, were they? So she's got a fully insulated van. Me, I've got the old school. So I kept this open last night. So, just had the fly screen, or mozzie net, whatever you'd like to call it. And then I had the pop top, fully open for just extra noise. So, um, so Big Shaz, she's either deaf, or um, she's that well insulated in this van that she didn't hear the dogs. Insulated. Sorry, Shaz, what'd you say? <laughs> insulated. <laughs> Shut up, I'm not dead. Shaz is not just well insulated, she's incubated <laughs> in her van. Oh, it's nice and comfy. Comfy, look at this. <sighs> it's like a, like a four-star motel. Inside, that is. On the outside, it looks like shit. Hey. Hey, uh... That's uh, that's Missy. That's our white cat, and that's Jet. That's our black cat. Well, bro, Chachos, this is the uh, difference between 
when I make my bed and Shazza makes her bed. My bed. <laughs> Shazza's bed. So Shazza's just realised that she's left the utensils at home. So we're cooking with a wooden fork and a wooden spoon. That was good. So it's um, Sunday morning and um, so this is a time when people that go camping normally uh, pack up and head off. Um, all different walks of life go camping. You've got your, um, you know, if you've got your people there that have got caravans and, um, you know, four-wheel drives, the normal kind of setup if you want to really do it uh, in style. You know, you can get some caravans that are almost like a house and the four-wheel drives are super expensive. And then down there, you've got just um, a couple of, um, two couples just in little tents, um, just in one vehicle. So they're doing it on a budget. And then you've got OMB style. Well, I just pull up in the old bus, pop the top, put the fly net up and... Uh, just crash. And Shazza, well, she's a bit of a luxury girl. She likes to uh, camp in style. She's a bit of a glamper. And Nothing wrong with that. She's got a new top on. What, what is that? Caftan. Oh, she's got a new caftan. She loves caftans. She likes to be a bit of a hippie chick. I am a hippie chick. There you go. Well, Shaz and I really needed this time away. It's been a while since we've gone away together, and we only went away for a couple of days, but it felt like a week. Had a bit of a surf. Shaz, you know, went Pokemon hunting. We had a couple of really nice feeds. Saw some beautiful country and ocean. All in all, this little escape was just what we needed. And... I hope you enjoyed the video. It was something a little bit different to what I normally do. But um, who knows? I may end up doing more of these videos. Anyway, bro, chachos, adios, amigos.